Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have signed a very lucrative deal with Netflix as part of their new careers, having stepped down as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have said they want to make programmes that give hope. Well, ITV News Royal Editor Chris Shipp is in Surrey this morning and joins us now live. Good morning to you, Chris. So there's so much speculation about how much this deal is worth. It's said to be a lot. What are the details that you're hearing about all of this? Yeah, when we say a lot, we're talking tens of millions of pounds. And uh, whilst they won't give us the details of exactly how much this deal uh, is for, it gives Harry the, the, the financial uh, independence that he spoke about and that Meghan spoke about uh, when they announced they wanted to leave the royal family. Of course, up until now, they've been surviving on money from Harry's dad. It's the bank of dad, Prince Charles's own private uh, income that's been paying for Harry and Meghan. But they've got this Netflix deal now. Add that to a couple of speeches speakers' deals they've had for the speaking circuit in the US, and they've got that financial independence which they so craved. And, I mean, is it because they need the money? They've just bought that $14 million big house, haven't they? They also apparently still owe a bit of money on Frogmore Cottage, so is this one way of them being able to pay the bills? Well, look, uh, they've got some bills to pay. Of course they have. Um, but, I mean, Harry and Meghan will tell you this is more about using their influence. We are talking here, you know, Charlotte, as you know, about a couple, one of the most talked about couples uh, in the world. And they want to use their, you know, their passions. They've got this uh, charity foundation called Archerwell, which they're setting up. And they're going to use those ideas, the things that they care about the most, to channel that into sort of kind of Netflix programming. Effectively, they're becoming big TV. TV producers. This isn't, isn't about Meghan returning to acting. You'll know that she used to be uh, in suits before she got married to Prince Harry. But it's about them becoming TV producers and making a bunch of programmes for Netflix. And many people think that the deal that they've done with Netflix will go on for something like five years. So being, they'll be paying the bills at that big mansion for a number of years to come. Do you think we might see them on camera, though? I mean, I know you said Meghan's talked about having no plans to go back to acting. She did narrate that Disney series, didn't she, after Harry sort of a bit awkwardly touted her services to the Disney chairman. Do you think we'll see them in front of the camera as well as just being producers? Yeah, I don't think they could be completely off camera. And in fact, uh, Harry appears in a Netflix programme which uh, first hit the streaming service last week called Rising Phoenix. It's all about the Paralympic Games. And you know that Harry is very much into the uh, Invictus Games, which he set up for members, injured members of the uh, armed forces. He appears in that documentary. And I think if you look at it that way, that's the kind of thing that they will be doing. They'll also be following a kind of Obama model. Michelle Obama has a programme on Netflix called Becoming, uh, named after her book. And uh, Barack Obama and Harry are friends, and they've spoken about various projects before. So if you think of the Obama model, they're big TV producers for Netflix now. They've done a multi-million pound and dollar deal with Netflix and this is the kind of deal that Harry and Meghan have done with the streaming giant. And what do you think their grand plan is now though? I mean they come in for a lot of criticism don't they about what's happened since they stepped away from their royal role. Are they desperate to try and redefine themselves with something like this do you think? The, I mean, coronavirus has put a halt on a lot of the plans that Harry and Meghan had. Uh, so they, they moved to first Canada and then to Los Angeles, where they've got their uh, new property there at the moment. And they're going to put a lot of their focus into this project, into Archiewell, their charity foundation. And that's where they're going to be do, p putting a lot of the attention going forward now. I mean, yes, they get a lot of criticism, but Harry and Meghan say that in the long term, what they want to do is use their influence to help others. All right, Chris, thanks so much for joining us this morning. That's Chris Ship there, live from Surrey.